The focus of my research is to reduce the number of injuries people have when they do sports and to improve performance. Most of the injuries that you have in sports are lower extremity injuries and so we concentrate on the lower extremities and then we concentrate on shoes, on orthotics, on training. Pronation was basically the major thing that running shoe manufacturers used to give you a shoe. They looked at you and said you are a pronator and therefore you need that shoe that has support. We tried to understand that and we came to the conclusion that pronation is not a factor that contributes to injuries. At the moment it is a paradigm shift. We think that ankle strength is a major contributor to the reduction of injuries. If you have weak ankle joints, you are unstable at the, at the base. And if you're unstable at the base, that has an effect up the body. And we think, and, and we have some evidence, that this is a contributor to injuries. The ankle has two major muscles, which is the calf muscle, and which is the tibialis anterior in the front. And in addition to that, it has nine other muscles. If the small muscles can do the stabilization work, then the big muscles don't have to do that and the loading of the structures in the human leg is much lower. Whatever you do to strengthen those muscles is good. One is you do it isometrically. You can push with your foot against the chair in front of you and do that for 12 seconds and then you relax again. That's isometric training. But you can also do it dynamically. So for instance, you can do some balance training. You can stand on one leg on a ball. If your muscles around the ankle joint are strong, then you do that exercise better than if they are weak. The question, do shoes affect injury frequency? The answer is clearly yes. The muscle activity is much higher in an uncomfortable shoe than in a comfortable shoe. We know that, we have measured that. People should never buy an uncomfortable shoe. That's the best indicator at the moment. When somebody tells you you have to break it in, that's not a good statement. We try to understand what are the factors that make something more comfortable or not comfortable. And that is different for different groups of people. You know, so, some people like one thing, some people like another thing. If you go to a shoe store in five years, we try to connect the characteristic of a shoe with the characteristic of a subject. It will be possible that the shoe store salesperson makes a few measurements. The clerk says, these are the shoes that are for you.